Hi Chelsea, thanks for coming in and meeting with me today. My name is Bree and I'm the occupational therapist who will be working with you today. How are you doing? I'm all right, I guess. So what brings you in to see me today? Um, I guess really haven't been feeling that well lately. I've been struggling with my weight for a while now and recently I've just been seeing how this has you know, been affecting my health quite a bit along with what the doctors have been telling me for quite a while. I've just really personally noticed how my weight has been affecting my life with both my family and friends. It sounds like you've really been struggling with this. So how have you seen your problem with your weight been affecting like your day-to-day -day life? Well, this is, you know, where it's become really hard lately. My family means the world to me, but lately with, you know, my weight and health the way it's been, I haven't really been able to do everything with them that I used to. My kids are really young, so they're just full of energy all the time and just want to go, go, go. So I just, lately, I don't have the energy to keep up with them anymore. I get really worn out, I just can't keep up with the games that they want to play. And also, I just like haven't really been feeling comfortable going out in public anymore. Well, it seems like your family is really important to you, so I could see how that'd be really hard not to be able to like spend all that time playing with them and doing all those activities. Um, is there any other activities that your weight has been keeping you from participating in? Well, it's also, you know, caused me to have a lot of issues with my self-confidence, which has made me not want to go out in public as much anymore. Um, I'm always comparing myself to friends and how they look, and it honestly kind of just makes me ashamed of myself and how I've let myself go over these years. Um, so it kind of just makes me not want to go out in social situations and participate with all my friends. Yeah, that can be really hard when you start comparing yourself to others, but the most important thing to focus on is like yourself and like your overall health. Um, on a scale of like one to 10, how important is it for you to make the changes and start to become a healthier person? Um, I would say around a seven. I mean, I do want to feel better about myself and be healthier and you know, lose this weight um, so that I can get back to doing activities that I used to be able to do, but also, I don't really know if I'm fully motivated to follow through with this whole process. Well, to me it seems like you're pretty motivated, which is a great start to making a change in your life. Um, so what do you, would you think would happen if you didn't make this change? Honestly, I mean, I, I really don't know. I just know that if I don't make a change with my health the way it is, like I don't really know how I'm going to keep everything up. It's just really becoming really hard to even go out in public because um, of the way I feel and like I can't just I can't keep up with the activities that I want to be doing anymore. Yeah, I know these first few steps in changing can be like the hardest but I feel like if we work together and try to figure out some ways to help. Um, how about we start talking about like your health in general like what does nutrition and exercise look like for you? Well I mean growing up my whole life I've always been you know an athlete so staying in shape was just something easy for me to do. I never really even like was concerned about how I was eating or um, how that affected my weight because I was so active in so many parts of my life. But then after having my kids, working out just isn't a priority anymore for me. You know, I'm, I'm more concerned with packing their lunches, getting to work at my full-time job, and then even after work, I'm running my kids to all their activities that they have. So with my busy life, like for me, exercise is completely at the bottom of my list. Yeah, so it seems like you want to exercise more, but like you just don't have the time to do so. And I know like it can be really hard with kids to juggle them and work and everything, but I think like getting a good routine would make a lot of difference and help you. Yeah, I mean, time is completely my main problem. I know obviously I can get up earlier or stay up later at night, but by that time I'm just not motivated or have the energy to do so. So I just, I really feel like maybe if I had someone there to push me, like so that I kept with the routine, um, I would do better, but also I don't want to let anyone down. Yeah, so it's clear like you want to make the change, but you just need like that little bit of help to get you going. Have you tried talking to like your <clears throat> husband or maybe even some of your friends that could help you along on this journey? No, I mean, I know that it would definitely be beneficial if I asked someone to help, but like I said, I just really don't want to let someone down if I fail. And I mean, I'm also kind of embarrassed to talk to my husband about my weight just because I don't, I don't think that he'll understand like what I'm going through right now. Yeah. 
Like, I think it would be a really great idea for you to get someone behind you, like, to follow you on this journey, because I feel like they'd only support you and, like, be there for you to, like, get better. But, like, if you aren't comfortable with that, another great option <clears throat> would be for you to join, like, a group fitness class in your community, because then you could meet some new friends and some people with the same goals as you who could hold you accountable for keep coming back to class. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that I, like, need to get people involved so that I'm kept accountable. and. Honestly, like a group fitness class or something like that would be great for me just because in a place like that, I wouldn't feel, you know, as self-conscious because everyone's kind of in the same place as me and working towards the same thing. Yeah. Well, I think it's great that you're even here today and wanting to make a change for yourself. What I've gotten from you so far is that you really want to make a change with exercise, especially for your weight. What does that look like in terms of meals? Is there something that's holding you back from your goals? Yeah, I mean, I never really ate that healthy, like, ever since I was younger. You know, I just never really had to worry about it before. And as I've gotten older and, you know, had my family, now it's just all about convenience for us. Can you maybe expand on that a little bit more? <clears throat> well, I mean, it's not like we order out or eat fast food all the time, but I also don't make that many homemade healthy meals either. You know, I usually resort to something just quick and easy, like hamburger helper or maybe a you know frozen pizza just I really just don't have the like energy to make a difficult step-by-step -step meal and like because when I get home I'm just worn out from the day yeah I know it can be like hard after especially after a long day to come home and make something from scratch but there are some strategies that can help you improve your nutrition even with the shortage of time like not every meal has to be really complex and you could even try like meal prep on the weekends with some healthier choices so like during the week you could save some time yeah, I mean, you know, I guess if I like planned out something like that, I would make healthier meals for myself and my family. And then also if I could, you know, save some of that time preparing the meals each night, I could spend that time with my kids instead. Yeah. So I've gathered from like our conversation that like you are very motivated to make a change. And the problem is like you're really busy working and taking care of your kids. But I think if we could help figure out like a routine, that that would be a great start to like changing your nutrition and your health overall. Some goals that I think would be good to work on through the next week would be like looking into those group fitness classes and trying to like find, come up with some healthier recipes or like even start to do the, like the meal prep for the week. Um, do you think these could be some reasonable goals that you could do for the first week? Yeah, I mean, like from what we've talked about, like it'll be hard, but I definitely want to, you know, start making these first step towards a change in my life. Great, because these first steps are trying to get you back to doing the activities that you want to do. So I really hope that it goes good for you. And if you have any questions or any concerns, just let me know. And I'll see you next week. Thank you.